file buried deep in our system and dating back over 50 years. What was it? Coordinates, sir. Coordinates? To what? A secret research facility. It was a black site, sir. Someone worked very hard to keep this from My God. Project Shadow. Very well. Let's do this. There has been kind of a campaign, and I have also been one to push for it, is Jason Griffith coming back to voice Shadow in the next Sonic movie. Now, there's there's like a few people who actually, well, there's like a few actors who the fans want to play Shadow. Robert Pattinson, and the other one is Keanu Reeves. So, yeah, those are the other two other voice actors. Honestly, I think they would do a really good job voicing them. Robert Pattinson, he does a pretty good voice. Like I, I remember seeing the Batman. I actually did think of him, like playing Shadow. Like, man, he has a really cool voice. Like I could actually see him doing Shadow too. I wouldn't mind that choice. Keanu Reeves is also a good pick. Um, but personally, I personally think Jason would be the best pick. I mean, he has like the most experience. In my personal opinion, I think Jason is the best, the best Shadow voice hands down. Like he he is my all time favorite voice actor, above, um, what was that guy's name? The very first voice for Shadow, like in SA2 and Heroes. I think he's better. I forgot his name. <laughs> I think it's David. David something. Yeah. Sh Shadow's SA1, SA2, and Heroes voice actor. He was good. He was good. Don't get me wrong. But I think Jason just does it way better. Um, and Kirk Thornton. Oh my gosh. So I mean, let's. One of the reasons why, and I heard people say, like, you know, it's very unlikely that he'll come back to voice. And that is true. But here's my thing, right? If enough people campaign and petition for Shadow, if we push hard enough for them to put him in the next movie, Paramount, they know what the fans want, bro. Have y'all seen how many Easter eggs and references they put in the Sonic movie, too? Like, they know what will make the fans happy. So it's not, it's not, like, out of possibility. I was just watching, like, some big Sonic tubers say that, oh yeah, it's definitely not gonna happen, guys. You gotta go for some high name celebrity, which is true. That is likely that it will happen, but at the same time, I don't want like the idea of Jason being in the movie to like just you know seem impossible because it's not. You know, if enough people campaign for this, Paramount will see it and like <laughs> they will acknowledge it because they know, bro. We we got them to change the whole design. We literally bullied the whole studio to change Sonic's design. I'm pretty sure you know, campaigning for a new voice or campaigning for Jason's voice to come back. It's not impossible. Like, <laughs> it can be done. So, like, that's that's basically my thoughts on it, you know? I think Jason, me personally, I think he would be the best voice for Shadow. I could easily see him playing him in the movie with Ben Schwartz's Sonic. I could I could see him easily just going along with all of their roles. Like, that would, that would just be sick to hear. Jason... He's, he's honestly one of my favorite voices in the Sonic series in general. He's my favorite Sonic voice actor too. So I guess you could say I, I am a little bit biased. I'm not gonna lie. I love his Sonic and Shadow equally. They're both my favorites. But um, yeah, this is just my thoughts on it. If we can bully a whole studio to change the design of Sonic, I'm pretty sure, well not bully, but we can we can persuade Paramount into to listening to the fans because they already know what we like, you know, Sonic Movie 2 was amazing. I mean, because I'm pretty sure Jason would want to come back. He, he's voiced Shadow a few times, like recently on YouTube for um, Sonic Tales R, so he still has what it takes. I heard his Shadow voice, it still sounds amazing like he still sounds crisp on point his delivery is amazing so i mean i don't i don't see why he wouldn't do it he knows like the fans love him plus he gets to play shadow in like a big budget movie bro that's big payday for him that's an amazing opportunity i don't see him passing that up so it's just really a matter of like paramount like actually wanting to do that or not but i'd say like if you guys try and keep jason griffith trending on twitter he's already trending so that's a good thing you know if enough people are talking about it, Paramount will catch on and be like, oh shoot, you know, maybe we should check out who this Jason Griffith guy is, you know, see if we can get him to come back, you know, the fans really want it, we made him happy with the last movie, let's just do it again. And that's the thing, like, they brought back Tails' as voice actor, and I know I heard a lot of people saying, oh, it's not the same, you know, she's the most recent voice of Tails, Jason hasn't voiced Shadow in, like, years, 
but I mean, still, bro, like, it just shows you, like, they can, they have the ability to go and get a game voice actor for the character if they wanted to. So it's just a matter of us pushing for it and seeing if they'll, seeing if they'll listen. Hopefully they do. I mean, if they don't, you know, I'm fine with, um, you know, Keanu Reeves and Robert Pattinson. I feel like they would do a good job too. I'm not, I'm not against them. But I'm just like saying, me personally, I would rather Jason be. That would be so cool, bro. Just seeing him come full circle and finally getting to play Shadow again in a big budget movie. Like, bro, that would be sick. Oh, also, I just gotta say, I made a comment like a few months ago before the Sonic movie came out. I predicted that ending cutscene, post credit cutscene, I predicted that shit. Damn near perfectly, I have to say. I literally envisioned it just like how it happened. And, bro, I was so shook when I saw that. I'm like, dude, they actually did it how I envisioned it. Because, bro, I, I'm not even joking when I say it. Like, I'm almost dead on. The Sonic Heroes opening. He's in a dark, empty, foggy, right? There's a bunch of fog. And that's exactly how it was in the movie. I predicted this so well, y'all. It is a dramatic closes up, final zoom into his eyes, and he abruptly opens, and boom, that's how it ends. And that it, it basically happened just like that, bro. So I just got to say that I, I'm, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> it's been your boy Galaxy from the Galaxy Productions. I'll see y'all later. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And peace.